Hey guys, sup sup sup, Rick here for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council with a battling boxer deck that is TCG legal as of, well, 14th of July. <laughs> so this is for the uh, July format. This is just in case like the new support from OCG land makes it over. Then I will update the deck immediately with said things, but I've taken into consideration things that uh, Yugi 514 has mentioned to me and things that you guys have mentioned to me, but I kept it pretty much my own touch. So let's go into the deck profile. One Blaster, three Glass Jaw, one Thunder King, three Switch Hitter, uh, three Spar, and two Headgear with two Bailout and two Maxi for the Monster lineup. I'm still not a big fan of Blaster, but I understand why I dropped uh, Warrior Returning Alive in favor of Forbidden Lines because we still have that huge the huge back row, you know. Um, two reinforcements to the army. Yay, at two now. One Dark Hole, two Soul Charge, one Foolish. Two MST, two Forbidden Lance, one Bottomless, one Sherental, three D Prison. Triple D Prison, so nice. Two Breakthrough Skill, one Compulse, two Wiretap. I I constantly switch between this and Trap Sun, so play to your preference. Two Black Corner of Heaven, one Solemn uh, Warning. And finally, to the extra deck, one Dark Line Warrior, aka, you can see the name there, not sound that way. He's just so underplayed right now. Um, hat targets a lot, and this basically just shuts down that matchup and makes the deck a little more competitive edge. Uh, that's my theory. That's my thesis on it. Ragna Zero, just in case you run into Fire Fist, you know, it's always good to have Ragna Zero or just play for Ben Lance with it. It's hilarious. Um, triple Battling Boxer Lead Yoke, instant staple. One Blade Armor Ninja, one Black Ship, one 101, one Heart and Land Draco. This ends games. One Dire Wolf, one Extinction Knights, one Level Little Chain, one Daigatsu Emeralds, one Abyss Dweller, and one Gaga Cowboy. Now I'm just going to quickly touch upon um, a few things here. I still love Blackhorn. I still play it over Trap Tricks Nightmare Hole. And then I play Trap Trick Nightmare Hole if I still had room. Maxi is a great draw power for this deck. I prefer it over anything like Upsert Goblin. Uh, two Rota is just too good. Foolish Burial into Glass Shaw, into Switch Hitter, into Drop Switch Hitter, into Glass Shaw, into Free Lead Yoke, yes. Um, two Breakthrough Skill. I kind of wanted to fit a third one in, but couldn't. Uh, Triple D Prison is a little more, I guess, better for right now. I mean, if I wanted to, I'd drop a Soul Charge, but I prefer running the double soul charge instead of just a single, you know, single attack, just saying. I do usually, uh, will have a tendency to use soul charge, especially with boxers, to get in that situation where I need to set up to a 101, or just drop this, or Ragnar Zero. That's pretty much my premises on it, or sometimes Extinction Knight, which is very rare, but if you guys enjoyed the deck profile and you want to see more, you know what to do, like, comment, rate, subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one. I am Ryu for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council, thank you for watching, peace.